This week is National Weather Service's Weather Awareness Week, right? Severe Weather yes. Awareness Week. Right. Yesterday we talked about heat. Today we are talking about Thunderstorms. Thunderstorms. So you're from Florida, right? Or you just recently moved I'm actually from, from upstate New York, the Adirondacks, where we get snow. We're getting dumped on okay. with snow. But yes, previously Florida. So Florida previously, and the snow was not in the severe weather was awareness week. So, <laughs> but we're going to test you right. since you lived uh, in Florida, because in Texas and Florida, we have the highest death rates than anyone else in the country from lightning wow. strikes. So look at this picture and tell me where the safe places to be are. The car. The car. Because it's Good. grounded, right? Okay. Uh, definitely not the pool, not the pool, <laughs> maybe in t uh, somewhere inside in, in an interior room. Okay, good. Okay. The, the, you're doing great. You already mentioned the pool. Yeah, that's the awful place to be. So when you hear thunder or see lightning head inside right away, because uh, lightning uh, can be seen, you know, if you have a clear sky far away, but it gets pretty close, especially if a storm system coming in. Thunder can only be heard up to 23 miles away. And so when you're 23 miles away, you'll see the lightning, but not hear uh, the thunder. And so many times that's called uh, uh, heat lightning. It, it, it's called that because you don't hear it. Many times if you live in areas like the desert where you have these mountain ranges where you have unlimited visibility, sometimes for 60 to 70 miles, you see a, a thunderstorm system far away. But again, for us, if you're close enough to see the lightning or hear the thunder, you've got to get inside right away. So uh, Zach had the uh, questions uh, correct. You want to be inside your house or inside your car if there are thunderstorms outside. So here's what's going on. The reason you're safe inside your car is what's called a Faraday cage. So uh, Zach mentioned you're grounded. So what happens is the metal, what happens is the lightning hits this, the electricity goes around the car and then it exits through the tires. Many people mistakenly think that the rubber soles on your shoes protect you from lightning strikes. I will tell you, I've seen a lot of video of what uh, rubber soled shoes look like after a lightning strike. It does not protect you. It's actually the metal part of your car. And I've had a friend actually, mm. their car was hit by lightning. They were fine. Everything was okay. However, the electrical system does get trashed and that was the one thing they had to deal with, but they were all safe hit by that lightning strike. I wanted to end with this. I think this is a, a fairly interesting lightning fatalities. And this includes last year from 2006 to 2022. I want you to notice the activities with the most deaths, fishing, a boating. You have uh, beach, camping, uh, farming and ranching from the 20s and the 30s. You see what all those are all um, have in common with fishing, beach and boating. There's nowhere to hide. So once you're out on the water and you get a thunderstorm, you're just basically a sitting duck out there. And then also when you look at construction, social gathering, you have roofing accidents, golf, yard work, soccer, uh, motorcycle, ATV, uh, walking to and from home. Again, you're outside, you're exposed, and there's really no place to hide on a lot of these things. But many times you just have to be aware of what the forecast is for the day, and that's why we're always here from you. It's also interesting when you looked at victims by gender, 80% compared to 20% for men and women. Why? Because many times uh, guys are the ones playing golf and they're waiting too long to get back inside. Same thing with soccer, uh, yard work. We're the ones a lot of times going outside doing these things, motorcycle and ATVing. We're ignoring the forecast. We're assuming it can't happen to us, but you can see the difference here. And so you do have uh, things that we're thinking about, talking about, and for severe weather awareness week for today, it is thunderstorms.